hey y'all um i just wanted to get on here and um make a video because i am making a couple of things on my sewing machine but i'm not doing no tutorial or nothing but i just wanted to get on and um just talk about uh sewing projects that i'm doing and whoa whoa whoa, whoa it almost fell down so i'm making a corduroy skirt it's very pretty and I use my sewing machine to do the overcasting on it. And I use it, you know, basically for the sewing project, sewing it too. So right now I'm just getting like the loose threads off of it. And yeah, I just felt like this year uh, I'm going to get on board and on time with doing some things with my sewing machine. Because I have um, two three three sewing machines yeah three sewing machines y'all and i need to use my stuff that i buy for myself and yeah so i've just finished doing the bottom of this y'all see how nice this looks this looks really nice yes my brother's sewing machine did this <laughs> so uh okay so yeah, so that's the bottom of the skirt. So what I'm going to do is I sewed the sides down already. And I just finished doing the bottom of the skirt. So the bottom is done. And the top, I'm going to fold the top down. This skirt is going to have elastic in it. I already measured out the elastic. Uh, elastic. <laughs> I know that sounded weird, didn't it? So I'm going to lay this down flat. Not right now on the video, but lay it down flat on my ironing board and then i'm going to pin the whole top down but i'm going to leave a little part of it open uh at the top to insert the elastic in and then this skirt will be done then i can go on to skirt number two and yeah so i'm got two um things my other skirt um is what kind of material do I have? Eddie Bauer material, and it's over there somewhere. So I let me go get it. Go get it. Be right back. All right, so I'm back. I wasn't going that far, <laughs> but. Yeah, so this is my Eddie Bauer material. I already pinned the uh, the material down to sew it. And I'm just going to put this on this side now. Okay, so I started on the green corduroy skirt first. And I already cut two pieces of elastic for the waistband. So I'm going to do the thick elastic so that uh, it won't have that little skinny piece of elastic in the middle. Because I have a lot of that little skinny elastic that I was using to make scrunchies and everything and I do have leftover material so I might go ahead and make scrunchies or something like that with the other material or more, uh, the green I can make a corduroy bag with I have enough material to make a bag with, with that one but yeah so like I said the, swarm, the brother swarm machine does your clothes really good and it gave me really clean, nice stitches. Um, how I made this skirt is basically uh, what I did was just measure my waist and my length and around my hips. And then I lay, I also laid a skirt that I already have on top of it to get like still a little guideline of how the skirt was going to be. And then, uh, yeah, I went from there. And then I decided the other skirt was a pencil skirt, but I took my ruler and laid it out next to it. And that's all you have to do if you want to make you some quick skirts. So I wanted it to be A-line, so I, I just uh, angled my ruler out from the top of the skirt and took the measurements right there. So uh, to make it an A-line skirt, it was like three and a half inches um on each side so all I had to, I, I have Taylor's chalk let me show you my chalk so this is my Taylor's chalk right here so I use my Taylor's chalk to uh, just uh, trace down the side of my material with the um, ruler so that this it can be accurate on both sides so I did that 
and my ruler here's my ruler if you want to know what kind of ruler i have this is my ruler right here so uh i really love this uh, ruler because it says uh be so bold be so bold okay so it has this little uh dress uh form thing right here for you and there it is cute ruler ain't it yeah okay so yeah so i'll put this back under here i had taken all of my sewing stuff in the basement because I wasn't sewing. And so I decided to get it out the basement. Look at my clothes. They're all over the place. But I want to make it look even and not just all over the place. So I went downstairs and I got all of my things out of the basement. And because I was like, I'm going to do some sewing projects. And you guys saw me do some of the um, crocheting that I was doing because I know how to do basic crocheting but I needed to uh, get my practice back in and build some new crocheting skills which I have by going to YouTube school just like you go guys go to YouTube school and you watching my playlist of my sewing videos so many people are watching in and thank you guys for watching my sewing playlist and so many people have been watching my sewing videos so yeah so uh, so I'll come back and maybe I'll do a Friday sew so you can see the completed clothes that I uh, made. It's not a bunch of clothes, but it's just going to be two skirts. But still, you might want to look at them in their complete form. And maybe I'll have one on and show you the other one. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, anywho. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, I have to make this as wide as I have the elastic band. So, like I said, I probably tuck it down about this much uh, to make sure the band fits in it. And uh, that will be the skirt. Alright, so that's it, you guys. If you guys want to make you some simple clothing... Making simple clothing is not that hard. I swear it is not, you guys. I mean, you can sew anything without a freaking pattern. You can sew anything without a pattern. I mean, you could sew a top without a pattern. Uh, just cut you a uh, square uh, for your top part. And then you could just, uh, once you cut the square, just bank it in a little bit. You can get an old top. A old top cut your sleeve off that top and cut you a sleeve pattern out and then make it fit your hole okay yeah yeah just just do it just do it experiment with your sewing machine experiment with your yarn experiment practice do anything because sometimes these patterns are a lot and then you have to be putting so many pieces together. And you don't want to be doing all that, okay? You don't want to be doing all that because I don't want to be doing all that sometimes either. That's why I came up with doing my own little simple skirts because simple skirts are great. I mean, they got these easy patterns out, so easy patterns out. But you don't have to do the so easy patterns either if you don't have to basically do some so easy basic stuff. Especially if you don't want anything that has buttons or anything let's say like you see this fur on this sweater i didn't make this though but y'all you could buy you a little piece of fur tack it on your clothes let's say if i wanted this skirt to have some fur some fur at the bottom okay so fur at the bottom all i gotta do is get some little fur make sure i get the, enough the length to go around the bottom and then just tack it on the on the bottom and then you be like hey fool fool la la fool la la got me a fluffy green winter skirt Winter skirt, shirts, uh, cardigans you already have, things, with whatever, whatever. You can make anything look like you want it to look. That's what I'm doing this year. I'm doing whatever I want to do and make things myself. And I know, you guys, I'm doing the art videos on my channel. But I do that too because, you know, I like really painting. The coloring books are nice to do. You know, they okay. But, you know... 
I like doing other stuff too. I have plenty, plenty of things to do on my channel. Yes, and if you want to see them, you just come back over and check out everything you see me doing. So yeah, so that's the video for today. I'm making this skirt and I'm going to make my other skirt. And the skirts were easier to do than to crochet the top. So I'm doing the skirts first and get them out the way. And then I can start making the cardigans. Yes, can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, cool. Can't wait. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's the end of the video. And I'll talk to you guys later. And trying to get this clicker in my hand because I want to use it. All right. So let's see. Toodles.